Well, hello there. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. So I know I've been gone a few days guys, but in this video we're going to be talking about the future of Creative Destruction. The developers have gave us a letter that I'm going to read through in this video. We're also going to be talking about the new update that's coming out this Thursday. And for you loyal fans that still enjoy watching my videos, I'm going to do another thousand diamond giveaway in this video all you have to do is hit that like button get them over 500 likes drop one comment down below and in next video i will be scrolling down the comments and i will pick one of you guys to win a thousand free diamonds so without further ado boys enjoy the video let's go yeah boy yeah baby girl you're so damn fine no wanna know if i can hit it from behind no I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so welcome back to another video, guys. So in this one, we are literally just going to talk about the future of Creative Destruction. There's going to be no gameplay. I'm going to release a gameplay video on my next video. But here we go. As I missed the update this Thursday and I didn't bring you guys a video showing you a new update, I'm sure you guys have seen it already from some other content creators, so we're going to check it out. So let's get into it. I mean, my character's always looking, you know, I mean, come on. Thick! Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's get into the more. So we're gonna check out this new. Uh, I think it's a new samurai and a mech samurai suit. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the uh, the little um, sort of. There we go. I'll let you guys watch this. Okay. Pretty dope. Not gonna lie, that's actually pretty dope. That's uh, the new Mech Samurai um, pack. It costs well, it costs 135 to buy 10. I've got a few diamonds, so I mean, why not? Let's do it. All right, I'll never buy packs ever again. Okay, so basically, yeah, that's the uh, Mech Samurai guys. Um, there's also uh, a new monthly offer thing just here. Cool. So you top up by 450 and you can get that whole suit. Not the best suit in my opinion, but I suppose if you guys want to get some skins, then go for it. Let me just claim all of these rewards because I haven't actually claimed them in a while. So let's have a quick look. Star coins, gold coins, blah, blah, blah. Done. Anyway, so boys, that is basically the update. So first, before I get into anything else, I'm going to actually talk about the update coming this Thursday. Okay. So let's get into it. The maintenance notice for November 21st, which is this Thursday. So they've adjusted the bunny box item. The bunny box will now be consistent with other chests in terms of its sound prompt lighting effect and icon we have also reduced the cooldown time of the bunny box allowing it to be triggered more frequently pretty cool i think the bunny box wasn't as good um as as it was well when it first came out so they've optimized it it's going to be better pretty cool now this one is actually quite interesting number two so they've now optimized the grenade controls grenade controls have been changed so that you can now hold down the key to aim okay release your finger to throw and drag and move while aiming. So the detonation time has been adjusted to start from when you press the button, meaning part of the detonation countdown will elapse while the grenade is still in your hands. If your grenade is still in your hands when it, de it detonates, you will also be injured by the explosion. So they've actually taken a note out of Call of Duty's book. So what you can do now is you can hold the grenade, and the timer will go, it'll probably be like a three second timer. So you can actually plan. So whenever you throw a grenade before, I mean, people have got a chance to run away from it because it takes a while to detonate. So now they've made it so you can throw it. Uh, well, you can hold it. You can hold the timer down and you can throw it and you can make it blast on impact. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice little update they've added. So let's have a look at the next one. Uh, random parachute feature. Explorers can now choose from lots of wingman, wingmen and parachutes in the depot. During the wingman flight phase, one of the uh, many wingmen will be randomly selected during the parachuting phase in battle. One of the many wingmen and parachutes will be randomly selected. So now when you're flying in, guys, you can choose whether to have a random parachute. So it'll basically randomize whatever parachutes you've bought and what's in your inventory, and it'll use that to glide down. So 
I mean, it's, a, it's sort of a cool little thing they've added, but there we go. Um, the store updates, more skins, you know the routine. Uh, the Chaos will never be quelled. This week, the Chaos Emissary will storm into the... I feel like this needs to be some sort of epic voice on this. Hold on. <clears throat> this week, the Chaos Emissary will storm into the Aurora Valley, commanding the mighty Chaos Shimmer and wielding the Chaos Blaster Handheld. Will you allow him to plunge the Aurora Valley into endless chaos? This week's Supreme Supplies will be fresh with the new Chaos Pack, including the Chaos Emissary Suit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop that anyway. So the Chaos Wings back part, blah, blah, blah. New skin. Shut up! Anyway, the new skins, anyway, this is the main thing I wanted to get into, guys. Bug fixes, okay? Number one, they fixed a problem with the battle results ranking in multiplayer mode. That's good. Number two, they fixed a problem where tapping the mission interface after a battle would sometimes lead to an error in the season pass interface, which it does. They fixed a problem where the season pass missions could also be completed in some special modes. Called. They fixed a problem where blessing skills would not be picked up automatically in certain situations. The blessing skills are the ones on those three altars around the map. And they've also fixed a problem where the airship audio would sometimes disappear. So, this leads me on to my next thing. That's basically the update, guys. Not so much in-game stuff, but I'm going to read you the dev letter that they released last week. So, take a look at this. Okay, so here it is, guys. The dev letter performance improvements plan. So this is what I mean by the future of creative destruction, okay? So I'm going to read through this, and we're going to have a look exactly what they mean to do in the future. So it says, hi. First of all, lags and crush crushes. I think they meant to say crashes. L lags and crashes in certain phone models have been continuously reported from the community, and we'd like to share with you guys about the progress we've made in terms of this question. Also, we'd like to introduce some future optimization plans, though we may not be able to disclose too much details. We hope to show you guys what we've achieved as much as possible. During Season 7, we focused on the optimization of RAM consumption, and we conducted through tests in different scenarios. Besides, we also improved the skydiving process, during which crashes take place most frequently. After that, we optimized, We started optimizing some other scenarios like outdoor and environment construction complex. In fact, we conducted a before-after test on the Samsung J3 Luna Pro. Never even heard of that phone. And came out with the following result, result which we are happy to share with you guys. So, yeah. So, we've got the before and then the after consumption of RAM. Okay? Because basically, mobile games are all about RAM. If you've got a lot of RAM on a mobile, then the game will generally run smoothly. Hold on. Coffee break. Next, in the meantime, in order to improve lags and crashes on low-end cell phones, we changed some graphics effects and now our players can acquire better gaming experience based on the current graphics quality. Another exciting news that is soon coming to Season 8, which is this season, we've adjusted a number of trees. Especially in area you guys that think of too many trees, we've strengthened their tactic features, weakened the boundary elements and raised the frame rate. So that's brilliant because there are too many trees and trees, I mean, the more stuff you put into a map, leads to more lag and crashes basically so they're removing some stuff from the game that doesn't need to be there you'll notice the, the pet hate that i get is when you're on an object and you're walking around an object and you get stuck there's like a little gap that you like get stuck when you're trying to get around an object so they're trying to make that more smoother um next we've also improved the collision modes on the map which means you can find in our game that some bugs in collision have been solved and a general frame rate on the old, whole map has been raised brilliant Apart from these, some complicated building structures have been simplified and we've made some brand new adjustments on how objects appear and their location on the map. In other words, players will spend less time on exploring the map to find resources and the performance consumption caused by these objects will be reduced. In the end, we'd like to mention that in the future we will continue to improve our map as well as in-game performance and thank you all for the passion and long last love to Creative Destruction. If you have any other complaints or suggestions, you are more than welcome to let us know on the email address to share. CD Yamamoto. So there we have it, guys. So basically, there. Well, that's basically it. They are improving the game. Um, they, that's basically the future of Creative Destruction. They are going to constantly improve it. Now, it brings me on to my next thing. I've got some leaked information for you guys. I've been speaking to a little girl called DJ Hammer, and she has told me that the new CD showdown for PC and mobile is coming in December. 
So get ready, get practicing because the new CD showdown for a big prize money pool is going to be in December. And it's going to be on mobile and PC this time. Coffee break. Okay, so there's not really much else to show you guys. I am just going to show you this uh, Facebook post just here uh, from Creative Destruction. If you want to go to their page, go and like this post because they're doing a Black Friday super sale. Black Friday's around the corner. It says, ready for Black Fr Mad Black Friday. How much are you able to save depending on yourself now? More likes on this post gets a higher discount. Okay, so if we can get 200 likes in it, you get a 10% discount on all skins. If you can get 500 likes, you get a 30% discount on all skins. If we can get 700 likes on this post right here, we get 50% off all skins in the game. So I can't stress enough, go over here, hit a like on it right now, and yeah, we'll get some more skins off in the game. Simple as that. So that's basically the update, guys. I, I wanted to keep it nice, short, and simple. Tell you some new stuff that's coming. I'm going to be releasing another video tomorrow. Remember, I'm still doing a thousand diamond giveaway for one lucky comment down below. All you have to do is comment, get the likes over 500, and literally our next video, which will be posting tomorrow, I will be scrolling down the comments, picking a random comment, and one of you guys will win a thousand free diamonds ready for the new update. So, thank you for watching, boys. See you in the next one. Yeah, boys!